Good afternoon, my name is Tony, and I'm a member of the American Legion, so I'd like to speak to you about it today. The American Legion was formed in 1919, and is very famous for its assistance in helping uh, the passage of the 1944 Service Members Act. And this act is what essentially uh, bring, brought into existence the GI Bill, which uh, generations of soldiers have used, including soldiers today. One of the things that the American Legion does is uh, community service, which I'm very proud of, and it definitely is fun to do. Um, as a member, we've went out on uh, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, as well as uh, Armed Forces Day, and we participate in parades and different things to commemorate the soldiers who serve currently and who have served as far as legacy preservation. Uh, we also try to work with the youth, and there's a uh, subgroup of ours called the uh, Sons of the American Legion, which uh, allows uh, sons of members uh, who may not have actually served themselves uh, to still participate, uh, though many of the members actually have served in the military, and a lot of them are, in many cases, members of the American Legion, uh, like myself. Um, as far as the youth, uh, we do a lot with the youth, including uh, JROTC medals that we award uh, for Americanism for uh, high school students, usually in the grade of 9 through 12, as well as working with the Boy Scouts of America, because in many cases, uh, those units uh, in the Boy Scouts need sponsored organizations, and the American Legion oftentimes sponsors some of its local uh, Boy Scouts of America groups. Um, to join is pretty simple. Uh, all you have to do is basically be active duty or have served and have received an honorable discharge in any um, major conflict, including World War One, World War Two, Korea, Lebanon, Vietnam, or the War on Terror. Um, that was just a brief look at the many uh, things that you can do in the American Legion and its beautiful legacy. And uh, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed it.